morning guys welcome to today's video and today I'm going to show you guys my morning routine here in a place I like to call paradise because it is super tropical here it's the Philippines we're on an island so it's like it's a paradise never mind my hair I know I look insane but it is after all my morning routine so I want it to be as true as I possibly can or I'm just lazy to get ready so either one of those who cares? Anyways, let's get started. So first things first, I set my alarm on 6 a.m. every morning. I wake up super sleepy. I don't want to wake up that early, but I still do. I get up like a zombie and get my morning essentials ready. And I put them all in a towel. So I put in my swimsuit, my toothbrush and toothpaste, and my face lotion. And then I just bundle it all up into a little bag. And then I head on down to the first floor and I just throw my stuff on the blue couch and I head to the bathroom do my morning business and then I wash my face and brush my teeth and for my face I'm using a charcoal face wash that I actually bought in Oregon in the US and I usually just put my hair up in a bun while I do all of this so it makes it easier since it's so hot then I put lotion on my face I use the clean and clear acne lotion and I put that on my acne prone areas on my face and then I use the Aveeno lotion for the rest of my face and the Aveeno lotion I have actually has SPF in it so it's good for the Philippines where it's so hot and warm and sunny and then I just changed my outfit to my swimwear I have American flag shorts I got them on Amazon and then I have a Cebu t-shirt which I got from Cebu I also have a swim top which is a sleeveless swim top underneath the t-shirt which I got from SM department store a long time ago the reason why I have a t-shirt on top of that is so that I don't get burnt because I always get sunburned then I spray on some mosquito repellent on my legs because mosquitoes love to suck my blood <laughs> for some reason especially on my legs and then I use my Nivea sunscreen which is SPF 50 and this sunscreen is a spray-on one and it has a cooling effect so it feels so good I put that on my arms my neck and my face then I eat my vitamins I have B12 vitamin C and a multivitamin then I just eat a tiny little snack I can't just go swimming without any snack because I'm hungry in the mornings I would feel really faint if I went to the beach without anything in my stomach and I've also read that it's important to eat a tiny snack even if it's just a banana before exercising because if you exercise on an empty stomach apparently it will like you will lose muscle mass now I'm not a professional so I don't know if this is true or not but I it sounds correct you know so and I couldn't do it on an empty stomach anyways then I get my post swim stuff ready and what I mean with that is my after shower stuff ready because once I get home after the swimming I need to take a shower and then you know use my my shower essentials and so when I get home I will be dripping wet so I don't want to go up to the second floor so I get all my stuff ready then I finally head on out after all of that the tagging is always with me my aunt and so what we do is we get on our bikes I have a new bike guys by the way please go down below and comment what do you think I should name my bike it's a really manly mucho macho bike so we just ride to the beach and then the beach is extremely close like 10 minutes away five minutes away sometimes we go to a different beach it really depends on our mood sometimes we bike all the way to cloud nine which is quite far away especially on the bike but it's a great exercise we haven't done that yet though but we probably will soon we usually just go to this beach because it's so close on other days I feel like we will go to cloud nine or maybe even to Magpopongo if we're really feeling ambitious on that day and then we get to the beach and we just swim our hearts away so what I usually do is I just swim normally back and forth first then I swim on my back and then on the, maybe on my sides I just do whatever really like swimming it's a great exercise no matter how you swim really because you will get tired as, as long as you're moving while you're swimming in there as long as you're just as long as you're not just you know sitting there or standing or floating if you're actually moving your arms you will get tired you will burn a lot of fat and calories and stuff like that if you're into stuff like that I'm not really focusing on that I just want to you know feel good and exercise and you know get toned stuff like that 
and we usually do that for about one hour then we bike back home we're completely drenched and this is when my post shower stuff are really in handy because now I don't have to go all the way up because I'm all you know wet and drenched and I don't want to get the floor wet so I jump into the shower and you know do my shower routine shampoo conditioner all that normal stuff and then once I head out of the shower I use all of my after shower stuff which I mean I have a lot of shower after shower uh, products that I use for some reason so I use face toner and face lotion and I have a perfume and lotion and baby powder because it's so hot and you sweat a lot here so you need baby powder especially under your bra girls like it helps a lot my new favorite thing is this detangler I have from Garnier and I got it from my Tita LM so thank you so much and it is amazing like it's perfect for my hair so if you have curly hair definitely use this guys so I just put a pump on each side of my hair and then we eat our breakfast so for breakfast we usually just eat leftovers from the day before or maybe Tita Ging will make something new Tita Ging is a chef you guys don't did not know she loves to cook new things every day so I'm really lucky on that part so we have some sort of food you know whatever food we want for the day and after breakfast I head on up to the second floor sit on my bed I feel so good after swimming and you're so tired and then you take in a shower like you feel so ready for the day and all of this is done within two to three hours so I'm ready for the day at 9 a.m. I'm already done eating breakfast I've already showered I've already exercised I've done everything so now 9 a.m. is when my day actually starts so I always begin by studying or filming or editing YouTube videos and that is basically my morning routine guys so if you're wondering the swimming part we don't actually do that every day because we've been really busy lately because we just got here a few weeks ago so there's so much stuff you need to do still and so many things like I have to you know fix my paperwork and stuff like that because you know with postal ID and all those things like oh it's so boring but yeah it's something we have to do every day we usually wake up at 6 a.m. but we go all the way to the city to a place called the Pa here and it's not really a city but it's the closest thing we have to a city we've been doing that for the past like week going all the way there shopping or fixing paperwork and stuff like that we haven't been able to swim for the past few days but today we finally did so we probably swim maybe three to four times a week but it's really a goal of mine to do this every day i want to swim every day hopefully we will be able to do that soon as soon as we're not so you know busy i hope you guys enjoyed today's video please tell me down below do you think my morning morning routine is a bit strange like it's definitely different from my previous morning routines i've never swam first thing in the morning at the beach that's insane feel really really lucky guys to be living on this island it, so many people dream of living here and I just feel so happy please go down below guys comment what do you guys do that is weird during the mornings like what is your weird morning routine or if you have a normal one just tell me down below give me your video suggestions as well what do you want me to do on this island do you have any fun video suggestions please go down below and subscribe to this channel Art and Beauty Freak and turn on the post notifications so you guys know when I upload a new video and also go on to my other channel called Aryaville where I post several times a week and I post mukbangs and vlogs and you can see more into my life on there so yeah thank you so much guys for watching gracias por ver and I will see you next week adios amigos Woo!